Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to invoke Apex from Flow using Invocable Method Annotation, an Apex Action Element. Flow Builder comes with a lot of functionality, but sometimes your flow needs to do more than the default elements allow. In that case, call an Apex class from your flow by using an Apex action. Apex classes are available as Apex actions once the methods are annotated with at invocable method. First, we need to create an Apex class. In order to demonstrate, we have created a simple Apex class that gets the account names based on a search on the account IDs. In this case, we have created a public class and annotated the corresponding method using at invocable method annotation. You can also use global classes if needed per requirement. The label attribute defines the display name of the Apex action. Please note that invocable method can have only one parameter. In order to define multiple elements, you can use custom type in both input and output parameters. For more information about the at invocable variable annotation, please refer to this developer documentation. We've put a link in the short description of this video for you. Now, let's review our flow and see how to create an Apex action and invoke the Apex class. We have used a simple get records element to get the account record of prospect type and automatically store all fields. First, Go to the Elements section and drag and drop an action. A new palette opens. Search for Get Account Names. As we review the dropdown, we see that the action name Get Account Names is the same as the label that we provided on the Apex class. Please also note that the desired Apex class appears along with namespace prefix, if any. Select Get Account Names. We would like to set the inputs for the Get Account Names Apex action. So in the section, Set Input Values, choose to include IDs and review the options available. We will select Account from Get Account Record under Record Variables section and choose Name. To use its outputs later in the flow, store them in variables. As we see here, we may choose to store output values by selecting Advanced Section or Keep Blank. Let's cancel this for now and refer to the flow that has the Apex action created already. Let's debug the flow to review the results of our flow. Once we click Debug and Run, we see that the account name was returned successfully. We've successfully invoked Apex from Flow using Apex Action. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.